Let's work out problem number 31. So we have an inequality. It says, by hand, give the solution set of the following inequality in interval notation. So we have x plus 6 over 2x minus 7 greater than or equal to 0. We're going to use what's called the test point method. So what you do is you first set each piece. First you have to make sure this is 0, which is good. Then you set each piece equal to 0. Okay, So they set the top piece equal to 0, always, it's the first step. And set the bottom piece equal to 0. Then you solve each of these for x. So here we just subtract 6. So we get x equals negative 6. Here we add the 7. So we get 2x equals 7. And then we divide by 2. So we get x equals 7 halves. OK, so step 1, you set each piece equal to 0. And then you solve. Then you plot these on a number line, so negative 6 and 7 halves. Now you have to pick test points. And what you're supposed to do, let me rewrite the, the question down here. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to pick numbers and plug them in to your inequality. So like we're supposed to pick a number over here and then plug it into our inequality. And if it's true, we shade. And if it's not true, we don't shade. So we have three different regions. So we're supposed to pick three different numbers. Okay. But there's a trick you can do um, that works most of the time. It'll always work uh, unless you have like something squared. Uh, it'll fail in that case. But in this case, it should work. So you just pick one number. So the easiest number in the world to check is 0. So just always check 0. So check 0. So you take the 0 and you put it everywhere there's an x. So 0 plus 6 over 2 times 0 minus 7. And that's greater than or equal to 0. So negative 6 over 7 greater than or equal to 0. OK, so that's not true. So we, we don't shade. What does that mean? Well, we pick 0 from here. So since it's not true, we don't shade. And the trick is the pattern is always shade, no shade, shade, no shade. So we didn't shade here, so we shade here and here. If it had been true, like if it was true, like if this was like 5 bigger than 0, then we would shade here. But since it wasn't true, we shaded we shaded in the other pieces over here. Okay, so if it's true, you shade. If it's not true, you don't shade. And the pattern is shade, no shade, shade, no shade, shade, no shade. Again, that will always work unless you have like something squared or something different going on. But when you have like a linear a linear numerator and a linear denominator like this, uh, it'll work. It'll work just fine. So now we just have to decide whether the negative six and the seven halves are brackets or parentheses. Well, you have to think about where they came from. So 7 halves came from the bottom, right? And it makes the bottom 0. So you can never have 0 on the bottom. So 7 halves will be a parenthesis. Negative 6 came from the top. And if you plug it in, you get negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So you get 0 greater than or equal to 0. So that's true. So negative 6 is a bracket. Okay. So the final answer is negative infinity to negative 6, bracket union 7 halves to infinity. If you're not convinced about the bracket and parentheses stuff, you could do it another way. You could just plug it in. Check this out. So check negative 6. You could just actually uh, take the number and plug it in. So negative 6 plus 6 over 2 times negative 6 minus 7. We want to see if that's greater than or equal to 0. That gives us 0 over, uh, looks like negative 12 minus 7 is negative 19. And we want to see if that's greater than or equal to 0. So 0 greater than or equal to 0. Yes, yes, it's true. So we include the negative 6, hence the bracket. The bracket means include, parentheses means exclude. 7 halves, if you plug it in on the bottom here, what happens is you just get 0. And so you can't have 0 on the bottom. That's where we had to uh, exclude it. I hope that made sense.